Elden Ring's Blasphemous Blade is a very powerful boss weapon that does insane damage, has an insane ability, and also heals you. It's obtained by trading Riker's Remembrance to Enya at the Round Table Hole. Now you may be thinking that this weapon is hard to obtain because you have to kill a demigod. Well today, I'm going to prove you wrong by getting the Blasphemous Blade with an early game character. I'll prove this idea by showing this video on a new character. I'll be starting with the Confessor because they have the highest stats that fit the Blasphemous Blade build. First, we'll start off with a guide to get leveled up quickly. If you're watching this video from a mid to late game perspective, skip to the next part. After unlocking Torrent, head straight to the Weaving Peninsula and get to this carriage. Once you're there, get the Morning Star. After that, go back to the first step side of Grace and run to the back. From here, jump down and get a gold pickled Falfoot. You can immediately jump back up and head to the next destination where the third Church of America is. Once you're there, head to the back and take the portal to Grail's Dragon Barrow. Then follow this path to get to Fort Farrath, and once you're there, go inside and follow my route to get one half of the Dex Medallion. After that, go out and kill this trapped dragon using the Morning Star. By the way, if you're playing the Samurai, you can skip the Morning Star since the Uchi Katana also builds up relief. Remember to use a gold pickled foul foot before you kill the dragon. Once you're done, level up the required stats for the Blasphemous Blade, which are 22 Strength, 15 Dexterity, and 21 Faith. Dump the rest on Mind and Vigor, although having more Mind will help you win the record fight. Now we'll go over a proper way to get into Volcano Man. Head to Leonea through the backside of Stormville. Once you're there, make sure you unlock the Scenic Isle and Boil Pond Shack Sites of Grace. After that, head to Scenic Isle and run up to this structure. Talk to the person inside and she'll tell you that her necklace was stolen. This necklace will be with the NPC in the Boil Prawn Shack. You can talk to him about it and from here on you can choose to buy it for 1000 runes or you can kill him. Once you get the necklace, head back to Raya and give it to her. She'll give you an invitation to the Volcano Manor. Go down to Fort Height and get one half of the Dex Medallion. And if you skip the first part of the video, the other half is here in Fort Farrow. Once you have all of that, head to the Grand Lift of Dectus and go up. Once you're on Altus Plateau, walk forward and you'll see Raya waiting for you. Take her hand and she'll teleport you straight to the Volcano Manor. Once you're inside the Volcano Manor, talk to Lady Tanith and accept her invitation into the Volcano Family. She will then give you a key. After that, turn around and take the first corridor to your left and open the first door on your right. Then hug this wall and it'll open a secret path. Follow my route and you'll be greeted by this side of Grace. After that, go out the door and follow my path to get to the next side of Grace. This might take some tries, but if you feel like giving up, just remember how overpowered the Blasphemous Blade is, because you're very close to getting it. After getting this side of grace, follow my path again. And once you get to this guy, I suggest luring him back before going in to use the lift. After that, go up the stairs, dodge this guy, turn left, and pull the lever to unlock the bridge shortcut. Then, go into this room and die to this boss once. After that, spawn at the prison town church side of grace and go through the bridge. Once you're at the boss, face it diagonally and tap your forward movement until the furthest point that you get the option to enter. When you go into the boss room, sit still for about 20 seconds and then sprint sideways to get into the boss room. This will make it so the boss will not attack you. If you don't want to do this method, you can go do Volcano Manor quests and they'll teleport you straight to Rickard. Also, I don't mind cheesing this boss because I personally think it's a garbage fight. And just for reference, I love pre-nerf General Rodan. Once you finish that, go up this elevator and follow this path. 
I don't have much to say here other than to make sure that you spend your runes before you do this step because it is not that hard to die here. When you get to this room, take this teleporter and it'll send you straight to Rickard. Make sure you take the Side of Grace and after that, you can go into the boss room and take the Serpent Hunter's Spear. And then save and exit so you can go out of the boss room without having to die. From here, I'll just give you a bunch of recommendations to make this fight go better. If you're confident enough, you can just skip to this part if you want to see the easiest method to killing Rickard. If you want to upgrade the spear, take this path from Liurnia and you'll find EG the Giant. He'll sell you Sombra Smithing Stones 1 to 4, and for me that was enough. You can also go down this way and kill Alexander the Jar to get a Shard Talisman. This will increase your skill damage by 10%, and since we'll only be using skills in this fight, this will be pretty useful. After that, I highly recommend getting as many flash charges as you can. This will no doubt only increase your chances of success. Despite being a demigod boss, this fight is actually even easier than Godric's fight, as you don't actually have to learn how to dodge. And also, the game gives you a weapon that can pretty much stun lock the boss until he can't move. So here's how you do that. Once you get into the boss room, walk up to about this distance and immediately charge the Serpent Slayer's skill. The perfect timing to the stun lock is to fully charge the skill and then waiting for just over a second before charging it again. Make sure that after attacking, you count to 1 out loud because if you immediately press your skill again, it'll do a different attack that prevents him from getting staggered. Doing this successfully will make it so that Rickard can't attack you. Make sure that you're moving backwards as well before the lava catches up to you. If you miss an opportunity and he starts to attack, be patient and dodge before you do the skill. Rickard does big slow attacks, so time your dodge with that in mind. You can also do this with a second phase. It actually only took me 4 tries to beat him. After that, head to the round table hold and talk to Enya. Then, trade the Rickard's Remembrance for the Blasphemous Blade. Just like that, you now have an endgame weapon as your first main weapon. If you enjoyed this guide and you want to see how to build this weapon, check out my next video when that comes out.